बिकॉज टूडे इज बहुत हाइपर टेंशन है वॉट इज हाइपर टेंशन हाइपर टेंशन इज हाई ब्लड प्रेशर दैट इज नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर द ब्लड प्रेशर वन ट्वेंटी बाई एटी मिलीमीटर्स ऑफ मटेरियल इज कंसिडर टू बी द नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर When the upper or the systolic blood pressure is more than 140 millimeters of mercury, it is considered as hypertension. Also, the lower, this means diastolic, when the blood pressure is more than 90 millimeters of mercury, it is considered as hypertension. Why it is important to control the hypertension? Let's see. Hypertension is considered to be the silent killer of the society. When the blood pressure remains high over a period of years, it causes the cardiac muscles because of the pressure to increase in size and also to become stiff this is called as cardiac hypertrophy or myocardial hypertrophy hypertrophy in myocardial becomes very difficult for the muscles to contract and relax properly this results over a, over a period of years into a heart failure it also results in various uh, morbidity factors like cerebral bleed stroke visual problems kidney failures etc so it is very important to control the blood pressure uh, what are the signs and symptoms of the high blood pressure usually the initial stages usually these symptoms are non specific like mild headache fatigue uh, giddiness or little palpitations or walking fast etc once we are diagnosed with hypertension what should we do course regular physician visits At the time of your physician visits, it's not only important to take the uh, proper medications for hypertension, optimal treatment for hypertension, but also assessment of other comorbid factors like diabetes, cholesterol, etc. Your physician may assess the blood sugar levels, cholesterol, kidney function test, liver function test, etc. He may also refer you to the ophthalmologist. Usually, the diabetes, hypertension. cholesterol more or less they go hand in hand so an ophthalmologic assessment becomes very important along with the medications the diet and lifestyle changes are two very important things which are in our hands and which we can follow in our daily routine what are those things let's see diet as per the american heart associations uh, parameters they say the heart salt intake in your diet should be less than 5 to 6 grams per day Also, the intake of red meat like mutton, beef, pork should be reduced. Intake of fast food, cold drinks, obviously, should be minimized. Reduction of the body weight five percent is recommended by American Diabetic Association. The reduction in weight results in reduction of the blood pressure. Five millimeters of reduction in the blood pressure results in thirty-four percent of reduction in the stroke. And 25% reduction in the cardiac mortality. So optimal weight management is also important. In the lifestyle comes the role of exercise and other things. Smoking and alcohol cessation is very important. Exercise advised by American Heart Association is at least 30 minutes of brisk walking daily or five times a week is very important. All these results in a healthy lifestyle. So friends, what a take away from this is is optimal visit to the physicians by taking regular treatment, assessment of comorbid factors, with the help of diet and exercise can lead to a normal and healthy lifestyle. So friends, let's join our hands and let's beat the silent killer of the society, hypertension. Thank you.